Hello lovelies. I had to go run some errands and truthfully I had to come get this amazing. I know most people go to the grocery store and they go buy a pizza or go buy junk food. I don't know. But I am addicted to this. It is a broccoli feta salad and I'm going to try to re-engineer this. But I was craving some broccoli salad and so I scooted on over to this HEB. And I just am getting used to the store where everything is. And I found this hat. <laughs> and I'm going to buy this sucker. And, you know, I'm having a lot of fun. This is kind of a fun, playful hat. And I'm going to give myself permission to buy something crazy. And I've been walking around here with my new hat on because I don't want to take it off already. And it's kind of fun. Um, it's $5, whatever, but it makes me laugh and smile. Um, I was just really reflecting, you know, it's 45 days that I've been here in Texas. Um, I am very happy. I'm very joyful. And I'm even opening up being more vulnerable and open and just being able to do trial and error. And um, I actually over in my 30 day self care challenge, it's allowed me to get back into a uh, connection with myself about doing health and wellness coaching. And I always loved that job. I loved partnering with people of all ages, all sizes, all abilities. And I just love for them to restore a connection to movement or passion and not be embarrassed about gaining weight or having a health condition or or whatever they're walking through in life, a divorce. I mean, it all comes out in our life when we're not taking care of ourselves. When we have stress, we go back in and we don't take care of ourselves. And um, I really have missed that connection with myself. And, um, you know, uh, Washington State, I was, you know, just with COVID, I was downsized in the fitness industry. And in Washington State, none of the, the personal training actually came back online. Like there was, there was still open positions at gyms and it was really hard to get back into the line of work that I like. And, you know, I ended up morphing to and adapting to come over to virtual coaching. And, you know, I, I allowed myself to have some trial and error to kind of figure out what it was and just being open to the experience. Um, you know, I got some things right and I got some things wrong and, and you all ladies know about the coaching organization. I mean, that was <laughs> a lot of um, non-alignment, but yet I pay attention to when I'm happy, when I'm joyful, when I'm playful with myself, when I'm laughing, when I'm smiling more. And that means that I'm closer and, and, and am in alignment with myself. So do you give yourself that permission to be crazy and just walk to your own drum and do your own thing and you know would you wear a hat you don't even have to wear a hat like this but do you do you really know deep down in your personhood womanhood you know at the center the epicenter of you do you really know what that is and what it feels like and it is so exhilarating to get to a place of I don't care <laughs> I walked around here, there's all these like older guys who are just like, who, what, what, what's going on there? And I don't care. Like I'm having fun and I'm going to buy this hat and it makes me, there has to be no reason to it, but it's fun. It's playful and it's me. And, you know, I think that getting to this place at 56 of marching to my own beat and, and drumming my own drum and not being embarrassed, not worrying about the judgmental uh, looks or words that anybody says and not taking things personally. Um, you know, as a coach out here, <laughs> we get a lot of flack, you know. Um, there are like DMs that, you know, I wouldn't share with any of you. And there are, you know, lots of other people we can help you do X, Y, Z or whatever. And, you know, we've had... You know, people that we've talked to that we know we can help and, you know, the person runs away scared and, 
you know, there's a lot of stuff and it's helped me to understand that everybody struggles with insecurity and everybody struggles with whatever they're going through. And, you know, uh, they're not ready yet. They're not ready to take that step to walk towards themselves. And, you know, there's a lot of good coaches out here, uh, especially the ones that <laughs> that I'm connected with. I, I love their altruistic and they're, they're into, you know, mind, body, spirit alignment and helping people to be the best of who they are. And they don't want to do it with the marketing, you know, mechanism or being the big influencer and, you know, all of that. We're just people like myself. We are we hang out and we just try to do to do good out there and help people. And, um, you know, that's that's been the coolest part is uh, being able to do that and and getting back in alignment with myself. So a little tangent is just. Do you allow yourself to just go have fun and go play and do trial and error and try this thing and try that thing and don't have any judgment or expectation about it. Just go do it and see, you know, uh, go out and, hey, I I tried this thing and it was super fun, but I don't really want to do it. You know, for me, that's a lot of stuff. Like, I think quilting is beautiful and fun. And I've been to like little small classes and stuff, but I don't want to buy a sewing machine. I don't want to go invest in all of that stuff. I have fun when I go to a class, but that's it. And, um, you know, I've tried, uh, I do like knitting. I tried crocheting and I just, um, I still, I have roller skates and paddle boards and I want to go get a different e-bike. So, you know, do you give yourself permission to go have trial and error and experiment and what if you just had fun what if there was something that you had no idea that you liked and you went out and did it and you had no expectations about this is good or this is bad and you fell in love and it was something that you laughed and got joy and was aligned with yourself and you didn't know it like how cool would that be So I'm just sharing Texas. I'm proud of myself for making the move. I'm uh, overjoyed that I took the risk to come here by myself with uh, one friend that lives in Waco. And I'm really enjoying life. And if I hadn't had that, taken that risk and been willing to trial and error, and, and the Lord blessed it. He said, why the heck not? There's no reason not to. And I didn't really have this like a burning desire to come to Texas, but God kind of blessed it and said, you know, there's no reason not to. I was waiting for him to bless it, but he didn't. And he left it up to me. And then he finally gave me, there's no reason not to. And I took the chance. And I love that there's more, there's more people who are active, just like me, who go and walk every day. There's a lot more sunshine that's here that uh, can help with seasonal affective disorder i mean back in seattle back in portland it's raining and it's cold there here it is raining but it was sunny yesterday and you know on the pacific northwest they're locked into rainy dreary for a long time and you know you just don't know what you don't know until you do it so uh yay texas yay having fun yay for more joy yay for more happiness Yay for more experimenting. Yay for more learning about myself. Um, I just wanted to share all that, that there is outside your comfort zone, this whole world that can be yours. And you can be powerful. You can be happy. You can have boundaries. You can be assertive. You can have communication. You can work on yourself in the midst of whatever change you have and learn more about yourself and others and keep going. So I just wanted to say, isn't this a crazy hat? You know, maybe I maybe a few of you need to go buy a hat like that so we can have a squad. Like, wouldn't that be cool to have a, a whole squad of walkers go out with their crazy Christmas hats? So anyway, I hope you have a really great day, ladies. And I will talk to you soon. Talk to you a little later this afternoon. Take care.